up for sale now at Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2012 Nissan Leaf SL. Silver on the outside with gray interior with only 19,000 miles. Still under the balance of a manufacturer's warranty. And it's a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. Has loaded up with factory navigation, color backup camera, front and rear um, heated seats. It's got the LED HID lights with a quick port um, charging, um, the quick charging port, which I'll show you in just a minute. Tire pressure monitoring sensors, aluminum wheels, four wheel disc brakes. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always close on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. All right, we're going to finish going around the vehicle so you can see that the car has no dents, no dings, no damage, no major scratches or touches of any kind. We'll get inside to get it started, show you all the interior options. Clearly, this is a um, fully electric vehicle. Has an intelligent key. I'll show you how that works. This is a type, of, a type of key you put in your pocket and you never really have to take it out. When you approach the vehicle, both front doors have a little oval switch. You press it once for that door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. And now all four doors are open. Okay. Front door panel, light gray with a suede here on the side. Of course we got power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, cruise control, a manual tilt wheel, traction control, heated steering wheel. Let me show you the quick charging port so you can see what I mean. The quick charging port, uh, there are several stations and Nissan dealers and other places where you can go and get a charge. Normally you're going to charge this car at home with this port right here. That's a 110 or 120 I think it is. And this one here is a quick charging port where you need a special uh, station to charge that which will give you a charge much quicker in case you're out on the road and need to uh, charge up. All the headlights and uh, taillights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. We'll go around the back show you taillights in just a minute. Let me go ahead and get inside and uh, show you how, how the car works. This is a fully electric vehicle, no emissions whatsoever. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. When you look at this interior, it's kind of like a velour interior. When you come it one way, it looks like that. You can do it like that, and you see. I don't want you to think you're seeing stains or anything. It's just like kind of, it's like a cloth, but it's really more of a velour type thing. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get inside. All right, when you get inside, the vehicle is going to know that the key is nearby. And all you've got to do is see it's telling you right there. Step on the brake and hit the push button start. So let's do that. All right. Now the car is on, even though you hear nothing. Uh, let me put the phone just a little bit. Touch screen. There's your navigation. Got a couple of mosquitoes in here that flew in here while we're closing and opening the door, so let's get them out. The front window's automatic, it's a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. We're going to put down both front windows for better lighting. All right, so, uh, like I said before, it's got uh, 19,969 miles. Actually, i got to put on my seat belt here. Ah, forget the seat belt. We're not going to do that. Uh, when you put the vehicle in reverse, which, by the way, to change gears, you step on the brake, push the lever over, and push up, and now you're in reverse. Okay, and you got also parking guidelines. park you press here to put back in drive step on the brake pull it toward you and now you're in drive it has a little pad here that illuminates and lets you know so I'm gonna put it in a parking now you see how it switches to park and lets you know you're a parking all right um, 19,969 miles I don't know if I show you that already all right you do have a display over here for the mileage and uh, the current time 
Uh, let's see what else here. Let's. Um, you got also controls for your uh, stereo right here in your steering wheel. The radio's not on. Uh, let's lower the Phantom Max over here. Let's, see, not outside. And let's put on the stereo here. Let's find a station here with music. As you can see, it is a touch screen. And uh, let's find a station that's playing music. Alright, so you can race and load the volume right here. Lower it here. Once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, you can answer and hang up the phone over here. This tab, tab here, this is a, if you push it in, it changes your source, which right now we're in FM1. Texas to FM2, XM1, and yes, the vehicle does have XM capability, although right now it's a preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription. XM2, XM3, CD player, and back to AM, and then back to FM where we were at before. And that's uh, pushing this button in. Now, if you tap it up or tap it down, it's going to access your preset stations, which are right here. And those Cruise control on the right hand side of the steering wheel right here. Uh, let's go back to a uh, map here. All right. Press over here. All right, and now if you're running weak on battery and you want it to charge up, it's very simple. You can do this press nearby stations here, near your current location, and it's gonna tell you what's nearby. Maroni Nissan, Los Angeles Nissan tells you what distance and so forth. And most of those locations have a quick charging port which means you can be in and out there pretty quick and charging up your car. Uh, okay, these electric vehicles, they're not for everyone, all right? Um, if you need to travel long distances, this is not a car for you. This vehicle is for you uh, to move around locally, to go take your kids to school, grocery store, uh, uh, go, back, go back and forth to work, <coughs> excuse me, at a full charge, you have approximately 80 miles worth of distance. Um, so that pretty much, I've driven this car home. I live 12 miles away from my uh, work. When I uh, when I drive, I leave with a full charge. By the time I get back, I got usually about 57 or so uh, left, which means I don't even need to charge it for the next day. But to me, it's just like when I get in there, I get home and I just plug it in to have a full charge, not to have to worry about it. Uh, so, but you know, ideally this is going to be your move around car around the city. You're going to spend zero money in gas. You're not you're not going to be any, emitting any. Uh, Emission, so uh, it's good for the planet as well. Very quiet, very trouble free. And uh, now, if you want need to go long distances, you want to have maybe a second car that has a regular car that works on gas and stuff like that. Or you can rent a car if you want to go on a vacation. But for moving around locally, for moms or uh, even for kids, uh, they got to just drive to school, back and forth to the movie theater and so forth, gym. This is an ideal car. You're gonna wave by it to your station unless you need to go in there and pick up milk or whatever. But you're not you're not gonna ever see a gas station in this vehicle. Maybe to put on air on a tire. Okay, you got um, heated seats with two comfort positions, low and high. If you pop this open, you got an auxiliary input there for your iPod Music. Over here, you got a USB. Let's see if I can move my hands so you can see it. All right. You get also an electronic parking brake to engage, you pull toward you. To disengage, you step on the brake and push away from you. And um, you also get another cigarette lighter adapter down here for your chargers. You have main glove boxes over here. And then there is the owner's manual uh, with all the uh, supplemental booklets that you need for the vehicle's operation. Up in the top here, we got um, an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor that senses bright lights. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Below the mirror, you get the three little houses. That is your home link or universal garage door opener, where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Get your Bluetooth over here, and again, you pair it. Once you pair it, you're going to answer and hang up the phone right over here. All right, uh, you got storage here in the center console, small storage. Uh, you got curtain side airbags on the front post, the middle post. And there's another one on the rear post back there. You can't really see it from here. And you get also seat side airbags, as well as, of course, your two front airbags. So we got a total of three, four, four airbags per side. That's eight and two in the front. That's a total of 10 airbags. You got a, uh, by the way, 
the car is running right now. I don't know if you can tell. The AC is blowing nice and cold and we're not moving. There's no motor running because there is no motor running. It all works on the battery. Um, got a leather wrap string wheel, which is two-tone. It's a beige here and a mocha here. And I'll pan around it nice and slow so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is your zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and always close on Sundays. All right, uh, up in the top here, you got a set of map lights, a little pocket here for your sunglasses. You get vanity mirrors, of course, on both sides. Okay, now, so you're ready to leave the car now, you want to turn it off, come over here and press here. And the car's off. Remember the key is in my pocket, never come out of my pocket yet. Now when you exit the vehicle, I left the windows down which has no bearing on the demonstration of the intelligent key. Uh, there's two things you can do. You can reach in your pocket, hit the power door lock on your remote, or simply come over here and press once. And now you just lock all four doors including the hatchback. I'm going to go ahead and open them up by pressing twice. Now all four doors are open. Left rear door panel, same way. Gray with a gray suede here. Got a little bo bottle holder there. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. Let me show you how that works. Push the lever to the right, and what it does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the door is the outer handle. To re engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, flip it over here and this handle will start working again. You do have the factory floor mats on both the front and the rear. You can see the front ones because there's a paper mat on top of it. These tabs in here are to indicate to you that you do have anchors for your baby car seat. So you can put your baby car seat on either one of the two outer positions. The seat is actually, uh, you can fold it. Let me slide the front seat back just a little bit because I had it all the way back. So I can show you how that folds. Just, let me just tilt this up a little bit. It's simple, all you've got to do is come on over here and you pull this up here and lift it down and that's how you go into cargo mode and uh, you can do one side and not the other as you can see they're independent from each other this portion here is about 60 percent of the seat that portion over there is about 40 percent of the seat these rear seats to turn on the heat you press here on both sides of the um actually you turn let me see something here yeah you turn them on over here okay and that's to turn on the heat the, the heating area and the rear like I said, you got um, curtain side airbags in the rear also. If you look at the headliner now, so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, stairs, or burn holes. And I think we're ready to move on to the back. Like I said before, all your tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way, They're nice and clear. Got the little mini charger up in the top here. Your, um, uh, I think, I don't know if this is reverse or your third brake light. Um, rear wiper over here, the little orange lines in the rear glass, which is your rear, your rear window defogger. This is a little camera that we're looking out of when we're looking at the reverse camera. Again, zero emissions, right rear tail light, perfect shape. No dents whatsoever on the top surfaces either. Let's open up by can, let's have a look. Over here, this is your charging cord, and uh, very simple to remove, just open up here. You plug into the anywhere in your house and then you plug it to the car up in the front and your vehicle will start charging. You also have a privacy cover here. So when you close the hatchback, people will not be able to see what valuables you may have in here. To close, you simply just pull down. Let's come around to the passenger side. Got chrome door handles. <clears throat> From factory, everything, no aftermarket uh, accessories in this vehicle. Right rear uh, door panel. Another look at the interior here from a different angle. And at the headliner. And also at the back of the front seats. No stains, no burn holes, no cuts, no tears. Only 19,000 miles. Now this vehicle sold originally for around $38,500. Right now you're getting a savings of about, I think, 60%, 65% on a magnificent car. If you haven't driven one of these, you should. They are, I, I think they're the bomb. I mean, they're just really, really good. Uh, you spend zero money on fuel. They run great. They got plenty of power. You think this vehicle's under power? You get, you're get you going to get surprised when you drive it. All right, uh, let's continue around to the front here. Uh, we're ready to conclude the video pretty much, but before we do, I'd like to talk to you briefly about financing. 
If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even got some programs for really rough credit. If you're concerned about the financing, you live a long distance away, or you simply just want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page at the top, you see at the top this is apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.